I'd like to create a funky fun keyboard part to add to this project I've been working on in Bitwig. Uh, and I'd like to set it up so that it responds really nicely from the Rolly C board. It's really easy to set up. I have the basic default polysynth. This is Bitwig's polyphonic synthesizer in a track. And let's just hear what the default sound sounds like. Right away, it already responds to the glide dimension of touch from the C board. Let's check that out. I can create those really dramatic vibratos. Now, as I play this, it is a keyboard, so I'd like it to be in tune and then still have the ability to add some vibrato. So I'll reduce the touch fader for glide almost all the way down. Not all the way off so that the LED jumps to the middle, just a little bit above that. I love that setting. It's not off, but it's very low. And this way, when you play, it'll be in tune, but you can still wiggle and get some vibrato around that note. Let's try it. That's in tune. And I still have that, that wiggly possibility. With the expression fader all the way up, it can be a little more difficult to play in tune, which is why we have these choices. With like lead sounds, I really like that, so I can have all that variation. But when playing polyphonically, I think a setting just like that, but not off, works perfectly. All right, we have glide working, and I'd like to bring in press a little bit. Remember, press is kind of pushing on the key wave, and it measures how hard you press on the surface. Now, press transmits MIDI as aftertouch or channel pressure, and then once it gets into Bitwig, it's called press again. And we see it as a modulation source within Polysynth. On the bottom here, we have a press modulation source. We can click on it to say, this is the modulator I'd like to assign. And then we can click and drag on any of the parameters within Polysynth to define a modulation range or how much that parameter will respond to the pressure on the seaboard. So let's have that control filter frequency. So I'll go over to the filter frequency. I'll click and drag up. And I'm going to do quite a large range. And then I'll get out of the pressure modulation and I'll lower the filter frequency kind of starting point. Let's see how that works. If I play on a key wave, and then I push hard, we can hear that dramatic change from that one note. And that's going to enable me to create really dramatic kind of builds as I play along uh, with my drums and bass. Now, I would encourage you to kind of take a moment to really feel how pressure responds. I found when I first got the Seaboard that I was just really pushing too hard. I was pushing beyond really what was necessary. And I find looking at the dashboard also helps. So I have Bitwig running, and I'm going to switch over to the, to the dashboard and play a chord, and you're going to see pressure really visually here, really nice. As I push in all these separate notes. And I find that often at the beginning of, a, of like a practice session or beginning of a production session, I'll kind of practice that a bit so I get a feel for how much you have to push to get that entire range of expression on the, on the seaboard. Let's go back to uh, my project, and I think it's time to start playing some keys along with our project. I'm going to rewind, hit record, and hit play. Oh. 